Good morning, students. On my today's lecture, I'll cover translation, the last part of the transformation. Okay. I have drawn one of the triangle for you. Uh, the triangle has coordinates A, B, C, um, three vertices A, B, C with the coordinates 2, 3, B to B, uh, 4, 3, and C to B, 2, 6. If this triangle just slide any place on this two-dimensional space, that's our translation. What do we mean by that? Let's say the triangle is right over here. See that? The triangle coincide with the drawn triangle over here. If I slide it up like this or somewhere straight to the right or somewhere below over here, here, any place, any place on this two-dimensional space, x and y uh, axis, then this transformation is known as translation. Okay. Now let's say this triangle, I want to transform it to this particular place over here where this, see that if I bring it over here, then this A, let, let, let's put another one over here. Okay. So this A, when I slide it, it comes over here. Okay. This point is going to be, uh, A prime is going to be 7, 5. 7, 5. B prime is going to be, see that this is B, B comes over here, 9, 5. Coordinates of B prime is 9, 5. And coordinates of C prime would be right over here. C prime is 8, sorry, 7 and 8. Okay, this is our image. Coordinates of the image right over here. Now, the transformation matrix um, over here, we call it column vector, okay? Column vector, and it's written as actually two by one matrix. And in this case, look at this A. A, I had coordinates two, three. Now A prime is seven, five. So this A comes over here, one, two, three, four, five units to the right. So that's five units to the right, positive, and two up, two units up. So this is our column vector, and it represents the transformation matrix for translation, okay? So this is our image, and this is our object. So this column vector is very important because whenever you are learning the vector, uh, this is very important part. Um, it's not two by two matrix like other trans uh, transformation matrix we have talked about in other transformations such as uh, reflection, rotation, or enlargement. In this case, it's column vector. We, it, uh, the transformation represented by this column vector. Now, if I have this image instead of here, okay, if I had it over here, okay, let's say over here. Now, image number one, this is number one, and image. image number two now this a comes over here now now this a let's represent that by double prime the coordinates gonna be eight minus two eight minus two b double prime is this point over here ten minus two ten minus two and c double prime over here is eight one eight one now in this case the column vector is uh, take any point, okay, C or A or B. Let's take C in this case. One, two, three, four, five, six. See that C comes over here, six units to the left. So it's going to be six. And then it's went down. One from here, C is over here now. Now it's coming down. One, two, three, four, five. So minus five, okay. Now this is the column vector for this transformation. Now, if let, let me just draw this one over here so I can get rid of this shape. And it was seven, five, seven, five right here. So image one was here. So this is our one image one. This is image two. Now, what happened? Let's say in the first case, our object, look at the object, coordinates of the objects, A, B, C objects coordinates a was two three 
B43 and C26. And the way we this thing works, okay, if you have the formula, we're gonna use the formula over here. If we have the coordinates X and Y and the column vector, and column vector is A, B like this, then this is the object. Image will be the coordinates of the image will be x plus a x coordinates added with this one and y coordinates added with this one okay that's the formula let's see if it works or not now in the first case this this one was our object and this one was the column vector so image 2 plus 5 2 plus 5 and then 3 plus 2 that's our first case case 1 a prime and b prime 4 plus 5, sorry, this is, and then 3 plus 2, 3 plus 2, C prime, 2 plus 5, 2 plus 5, as this formula, and then 6 plus 2, 6 plus 2. So what do you got? We got here, let me use that different pen, different color. So this is going to be 7, and this is going to be 5, so that's 7, 5, and this is 9, and this is 5. 9, 5, and this is 7, and this is 8, so this is 7, 8. Uh, so, same thing going to happen over here. If I take A, coordinates of A for the second case, uh, from here to here, and my uh, column vector over here is 6 minus 5, so A double prime would be 2 plus 6, and then 3 minus 5. B double prime would be 4 plus 6 and 3 minus 5. And then C double prime would be 2 plus 6 and 6 minus 5. So what do you got? 2 plus 6 is 8 and 3 minus 5 is minus 2. That's 8 minus 2. And then 2 plus 6 is 10. 3 minus 5 is minus 2. That's over here. C double prime. B double prime. C double prime is 8. And over here is 1. So that's 8 and 1. Okay. So that's our transformation. And we represent the image under this column vector. And formula works like that. And whenever we slide the image object to any place in the two-dimensional space, then we use this formula or we use this column vector to represent the translation okay so that that was it about the transformation i hope you like it this is pretty easy among all the transformation this is really easy one uh, shouldn't be any problem with this okay uh, hopefully you understand this thank you see you later on this uh, on the different video thank you